hello guys welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so today we're going to see about the math expressions so math is basically the add subtraction divide and multiply so in any other programming languages we use this usual plus operator and for division slash and for multiplication aspect and negate we are going to use the minus so it's the same thing in the app sheet also and we see the common use case today for e-commerce kind of app so yesterday we have created one application for customers and uh, products so today we will use this multiply function so based on the quantity and the product price we're going to multiply it and give the final price of the bill kind of thing and yeah let's see the demo of this so in the data we'll go to the source this is the previous video uh, we will understand the dereference operation expression we have created the products and customer so in this customer going to select about the product and the respective price will get displayed in using dereference and today we are going to multiply with the selected quantity so let's add a quantity additional column here so now we added a new column in the sheet called customer Let's for the customer and view columns here we need to generate regenerate the structures since we have added a new column okay let's regenerate so yeah so the quantity the price one number column came here now we're going to give a quantity uh, one two three in the number then we're going to multiply with this product price value okay and uh, we need to add another column price and quantity multiplied with the total amount Maybe. yeah so again we'll regenerate so this is the total amount so total amount is the product price and the quantity multiplied by quantity so let's give a column using the multiplication operator this is the asterisk so product price and multiplied by quantity right so let's see this and yeah let's check this out so this customer we have created already a ux called ref if you see previous video you will understand this dereference operation so this is the ref this is the customer data now we are going to add a form so name something and product i am choosing laptop the price of the laptop is 400 and i am selecting three quantity see the which multiplied by four three thousand two hundred okay so this is the one use case of the math expression it's a common use case and we can do a lot by using the math functions also we have like absolute value average of list of values and this is under the advanced functions like ceiling floor we'll see in the advanced sections uh, in upcoming videos so now let's try out this average function here so it will give the average of whatever the number you have given so how we can do this like so we'll just simply add a new virtual column okay and here we add average virtual column mm -hmm. we we'll just use the average with the number we we'll use some number random numbers 
x ten okay oops it's showing incorrect so let's go to this math average so yeah okay so average will give the output number and it should contain list of values okay so we need to make this numbers as a list so if you see here the three seven six ten will be wrapped as a list and then it will take the average of these numbers okay let's see then see here so this is uh, like three plus seven plus six plus ten divided by four Okay, so it means like uh, 20, 26 divided by 4. What is the value will come for 26? That is around uh, 8. So since 6.5, yeah, sorry. So this is the average function on use case. And we can do another function called. So round is the. Uh, that's the approximation of the value so 6.5 is a decimal one so let's check it out using i'm wrapping up this with the round function so that we'll get a one full number so then it will give the nearest number for 6.5 so if you see here round is nearest number for 6.5 is 6 okay sorry 7 so it's like 6.5.5 above is 7 so if you see here this 6.7.0 for our value and then yeah so others other functions will see in the upcoming videos okay thanks for watching and if you like this video share and subscribe and to so tomorrow we'll see about the list expressions so which is the most important expressions you should learn in app sheet where for every app development so in app sheet list expressions is the important one you should learn. okay thank you Bye.